stuff. Hey everybody, how y'all are? Well, this is No Dust Monday Part Do the sequel. I thought that the first No Dust Monday was uh, was enough. We're just doing the the lighting testing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, but I did want to update you a little bit because we're not going to have a, a a project probably for a couple of weeks because I'm working on revamping the lighting in the shop. <laughs> I had a couple of old pole lamps that I was using like as fill lighting to get it bright enough in there so I could see what I was doing. And I've been having some glare problems. So what I decided to do was to take and change them into a a ceiling mount, surface mount, ceiling mount, so that I can get them up higher and maybe they won't affect the 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 glare when we're filming as badly and it'll also give me the opportunity I can turn them off and use other types of use the two big LED lights if I need to. It's it's gonna be a lot of experimentation now to see what's going on. That's like here <coughs> oh man excuse me that's like here we've got the light coming down from the ceiling which is really nice and lighting everything up but I needed just a little bit of fill light I think just kind of like fill the you know under the nose and places like that so I'm trying something now and we'll see what happens I'm gonna see how it looks and if, if I like it I might go with a dimmer uh, LED bulb right now it's just an incandescent bulb so you know we'll see what goes on anyway uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't take any video of what I did, did but I, uh, I do have some pictures, and I'll show them and probably put a little narration over the top of them in the next segment or two. And then we did a little uh, barbecuing for the week. I'm cooking in the rain, just cooking in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm cooking again. I'm cooking, just cooking in the rain. And, uh, that's about it. Oh, the other thing is that I have been looking for a P38 can opener, which I don't have a picture of, but anybody that knows what it is knows what it is. It's a military style little can opener. And, I haven't been able to find one. Well, they were online, but I didn't want to order one online. I just wanted to pick one up, you know. Hey, what the heck? They're like 50 cents. 75 cents. Well, I was, we went looking for... I had a hankering for some freeze-dried food. That's weird or what? But I uh, happened to go into the academy and where the freeze-dried food was, they had two of these little uh, items called Fred, which is the Australian version of the P-38 for a dollar. Here, i show you. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's this one here has got a can opener on it, it's got a bottle opener on it, and it's got a little spoon. Well, it's used for, this thing has been used for a lot of other things too, pry bar, and you can use it as a screwdriver, but it's it's mainly meant uh, for helping to open the can up so you don't cut yourself. And it has a spoon like pet, you know, like the pates and stuff like that. You're going to spread on crackers. But uh, it fits on my keychain nice, nicely, and so I don't feel as naked as I did before. Because I'll tell you, I've been missing that, that P38 for a lot of years. And yeah, this is for the MRE guys. Uh, that I, I kind of watch. I had gone to, been looking around for a pizza to replace the P38 that I uh, had lost, oops, years ago. And uh, I was at the academy today and happened to decided to just check. And lo and behold, look what I found. This is Australia's version of the P38. That's going to look pretty good hanging off my keychain.
You can ask Jan about the number of times that I whine, how I wish I had that thing. So, that was a pretty good find. Uh, I've got some pictures of that too that I'll show over the top of this. And uh, that's about it. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the little update. And uh, until next time, we'll see you around.